So uh, what's going on in your world? I'm still still a Teletubby. Mm. Oh shit, I got still, my phone's still on. Crazy, it's crazy. I love my life, man. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy stuff happening all the time. Wait. <laughs> I turned purple because of all of it. <laughs> nice. So what's going on in your world? What do you want to talk about in this mm. uh, mobile sandwich? So, so, so what do you think of uh, Elon Musk uh, buying Twitter? Is he buying it now? Yeah, yeah. Just recent uh, mentioned. That's fine. Let him buy it. Why, why should he not buy it? I mean. So you don't have any thoughts on it? Oh, you know, like, I know that, uh, I know what you're getting at with, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, or Bezos, Jeff, <laughs> buying or owning the Washington Post and now Elon Musk owning Twitter and, but who cares? There's more important stuff than I think, that. I think it was his intent with uh, the censorship that's going on. And he even, and he even wants his biggest critics to be on Twitter. I would say that's different than, than a Jeff Bezos or some of these other guys owning owning outlets, because even if even if they're not specifically saying things on the the day to day, they're them owning it creates a bias to a certain of extent. Of course, there's not going to be a lot of hit pieces on Amazon or Jeff Bezos. You, you, do, are you following um, his professor uh, at Berkeley University? Of uh, professor. Of economy at Berkeley University. Why are you whisper? Why are you whispering? You all of a sudden got real quiet. Is he like in the other room? <laughs> Elon. <laughs> no, no, this professor is right there. <laughs> he's grinning at me. He, he actually, he's a good friend of mine. He's always hiding out here in my room. <laughs> got it. <laughs> to have I a mean, little he, bit of normal life, you know. <laughs> he lives in a little space. I hear, <laughs> like a really small space. You know, you know Rob, uh, Robert Reich in English and German would be Robert Reich. <laughs> Robert Reich. Reich actually means kingdom, so that's a German name. So Robert Reich in English. Wait, let me. It's R E I C H. Yeah, you know him? I uh, no, I don't. Yeah, you, you should follow him. He's like probably the one of the the best, um, you know, former ministers, and right now he's a professor at Berkeley University. A professor of economics, super smart. He's super tiny. He's like, he's like a, a dwarf, you know. And he's super funny, and he, and he's pretty critical about Elon Musk. And he he reveals all this stuff, and he's like, uh, so knowledgeable. Like he's a professor of of economics at one of the best universities in San Francisco, right? So, um, and he's super like, I don't know, personal, likable, and. Like you just love this guy, and and when you hear that guy, then you suddenly realize, okay, Elon Musk is not that good of a guy, you know, because in the, of course he's cool. I mean, I've watched, I don't know so much about him, but I've watched probably two full interviews of him, like both an hour or something. So I'm not saying that he's not cool. He's he says funny things, he says intelligent things, and so on. But still, he's using all his power for his own intent, for his own, for his own interests, you know, and he might not even be aware of it, you know, because. It's a team behind it, you know. You can't. You can't. Yeah, I would. I would. I, I would say like the. I'm, I've, I've noticed what the theme is, and and I'm sure you've noticed it too. But I wanted to make sure that we're on the same pages. Is censorship, censorship, and we talked about blind spots in the in in the in the past. But I think Elon Musk sees the value of being able to, he calls it a, a, a public square. He sees the value of, of being able to siphon through a lot of bad ideas to get to the good ideas. Does that make sense? Yeah, and sorry to interrupt you, but Daria just asked us if, if she should ask that um, general or that military guy from Ukraine to join us now, but she can't make it, but he might be able to. So I said, yes, that's fine for you, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. so. <laughs> At any moment, we might change the topic, but that's, I think that's worth it. So. <laughs> that's, that, 
the global sandwich <laughs> works. That's the global sandwich work. Um, <laughs> So, so <laughs> like, like I have to I change the color. That, then you know, it's, no matter what, it has to be more like, serious. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally decided on a topic, and then we're going to change. Um, so he understands the public square and like having that chaos out there, and that's probably why he stays in the public eye. At a lot of times, there's there's probably more Elon Musk in the world. And let's be honest that he's, he's, he's smart. And from what I hear, he knows his, he knows like the engineering and, and everything, but his company is a big company. He the system needs, is the problem and he runs the system, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, but it, at least well, actually, system, he, he's not as, you know, like at least he's, he's, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, it reminds me of Hillsong church, you know, Hillsong church. I know. This one church is like the, the biggest mega church of, of Australia. And I spent a lot of time there. So I know all the goods and bads about it or a lot. And, um, and it's like reinventing the church, you know, making it super cool, super fun, colors, really nice entertainment, good music, really good music, amazing music, really touching. I'm not saying that not a lot of good stuff is happening there, you know, but at the same time, it's the system. It's that top hierarchy thing. And the top hierarchy thing will always overrun people. And 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 the bigger it gets, the more brutal and and uh, damaging it becomes. Yeah. So I, I that's, noticed that's what they they don't understand. People don't understand that that this that institutions are deadly to people. Yeah. 